that that makes me think of like in in my classes um during the zoom era uh <laughs> i would start each class basically asking like we would just do check-ins right so this is it's a little bit different because it's not like the mindfulness or meditation or anything like that but it's more like um just like hey how did how is your week is there anything you want anyone wants to talk about before i start recording um mm. that's a good idea and like for a couple of quarters or a couple of classes that worked really well and there are some students who are um willing to share or just talk about stuff and you know for some of them it's just like we just talk about whatever like we watched a cool movie or whatever right um but there are a couple of times when like a student would really like take the time to just like share something super vulnerable I feel like um and I'm kind of amazed when that happened because like what would compel a student to share that um you know and be vulnerable and in all the other classes um, that didn't happen. And I think it didn't, doesn't happen because why would you open up to a whole bunch of strangers, right? So it's hit or miss, right? I guess is what I'm saying. But I've been thinking about that and thinking about how, how can I make it more hit than miss? <laughs> or how yeah. can I make it, you know, how can I make it more like, seen as a as an opportunity for students to take advantage of I guess um but I haven't really pushed it or anything because I or or explored like other things I could be doing because part of me is also like well they know it's there and if they ever need it then they can do something but they don't have to right and maybe none of the students in this particular class need need that space right so I just haven't really um, done anything with it <laughs> other than just say hey does anyone want to talk about anything yeah um, but like maybe I should be a little bit more intentional maybe I should be more like you know incorporate it more explicitly with like the things that I'm trying to do with like good teamwork and frame things like okay one of the things that I think is going to make our society better, our world better, is if we have more people caring about each other. And so what I'm going to do at the beginning of every class is set aside at least five minutes where we, you know, just take a moment and, like, calm down and, like, just reflect on the past week and share anything that you want, right? Like, maybe I need to frame it that way to make it much more of an expli explicit, like, this is, we are doing this deliberately. Um, um, you know, and, and then hearing about what you do is making me think that maybe I should do this, <laughs> you know? I, I think it's interesting because I, I have a friend who we've kind of talked about how to, improve our both of our listening skills um and I was trying to explain that like sometimes you just have to be keep being curious when you're in a conversation with someone but that it's you have to kind of keep going with the flow and how that doesn't feel comfortable at first and it's kind of a little bit like you know um it can be scary almost but also it takes it takes practice I think and so I'm kind of thinking about how can I, how can I create exercises for students to practice being in that mode of being the curious one, like almost like an interviewing someone, you know, but you're, you're kind of uh, exercising your curiosity of what they're saying to kind of keep the conversation going. And I wondered, I'm wondering what that might be like for students to practice that. I don't know if it would make them super, I know, I know some of them probably super anxious to do that, but at the same time, I think it's a really, really important, listening in general is a really, really important skill. Um, and I think one that we can practice in the writing classroom 